welcome back. In this video, we'll be adding more improvements to our boat. We will be adding a engine to it. Okay, so I'm gonna make my engine really simple. It's just gonna consist of a couple of cylinders and a sphere with a particle emitter effect. So let's go ahead and insert a cylinder. Let me change the material to metal, color to a nice silver. That looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move it closer. And I'm going to rotate it. Okay, I'm going to change the size on this because it's not quite right. Let's make this. Oh, let me change the name also. So this is going to be engine. And I'm going to make the size a three, two, two. And you just kind of have to play around with these numbers until you find something you like. I, I like using the size property inside the properties window just because it's exact. But you could also use the scale button. That would work as well. Okay, now we want to make sure that this is centered. So let me do this the easy way. And it is not centered. So let me click on this. Oh, and I'm going to move it inside of my boat also. There we go. Let me go ahead and center this. And I know my boat is at 11 for X, so I'm just going to move this. You can check the position property here. It's at a 10. I'm just going to move it until it's also at an 11. There we go. Okay, so easy way to make sure everything's aligned. And I really like using the position and the size properties to check all this stuff. Um, the other thing is this one isn't quite a multiple of 0.5, so I'm just going to change that. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I like everything to be nice and and even. Okay, so I have my engine. Now let's add the engine mount. And to create the engine mount, I'm just going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to duplicate it. Let me do a duplicate. So I can just do Control D, Control D, and it's inside. So I'm going to go ahead and change the size on this. I think I made it a one, so three, one, one, and maybe a four. Yeah, and you can see it sticks out a little bit. I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to move it. And sometimes when you rotate stuff, you'll see something like this. You'll see that your your move arrows are like along the direction of the part instead of normal way. And you can change that by pressing Control L. It'll turn it on and off. I guess sometimes you would want to move your parts along its axes, but I like have every I like to have everything with these. Uh, world axes just makes it easier for me. Uh, that looks good. Okay, let me move the engine. Okay, so these are both called engines. So let me change this to engine mount or engine holder. Okay, and the engine itself, I want to move a little bit back. That looks pretty good. Okay, let me turn this around so you can kind of get a view of this. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the only thing is, you know what? That, that's actually good. Okay. So now you know, I want this little, like a sphere here to glow, to make it look like kind of the back part of the engine. So I'm going to add a sphere and let me check I, again. Let me check and see. Oh, it did it nice this time. Sometimes it'll make these numbers nice. See how they're three, two, 4.5 and four, four, four. And sometimes there'll be these crazy decimals. I don't know why it does it sometimes. And sometimes it doesn't. But I made my engine, this part here, I made it 2. So I'm going to make the size of the sphere also 2 so that it fits perfectly. Okay, and then I want to move it over. And I want to make this thing white. And I want to make it neon so that it glows. There it goes. Okay, and probably should have done that before, after. Oh, that's nice. Actually, it turns it off when you're moving it, which makes it easier to see. That's that's pretty that's a good a good feature okay so I have my engine that looks pretty realistic yeah it looks pretty nice okay so what I want to do now is I want to change some stuff so let me make sure everything is oh and you know what this thing I want to call engine glow just want to have everything labeled if I can okay, and I want to put this also inside of my boat okay there we go so I got my engine, my engine glow, my engine mount. And let's change a few properties on these. So I'm just going to use control left click to select all three of these. And I'm going to make them massless. That way they don't sink my boat for being too heavy. Okay. 
And then I want to connect them to my boat because right now they're not connected. They'll just fall. So I want to create welds. Okay, so let's go. I'm already in the model menu. Make sure nothing's selected. Click on weld and click on my floor and then on the parts. I'm gonna do this three times. There we go. And you can actually check all of these. You can make sure that they have the right, um, I guess, I wonder if you can, it's really, oh, oh, you can. Okay, you can actually click on the welds, the little lines, and then you can check here what they're connected to. So here, this is when it's connected to the boat floor and the engine glow. Um, so that's actually, that's actually useful. Okay, so I've got all of this connected and let's just test it, make sure this thing doesn't sink and doesn't fall apart. That looks good. And uh, I like it. Oh yeah, everything's shiny. Okay, the last thing to do here is to add a particle emitter to my to my engine glow. Let's see, here we go. Engine glow, I'm going to add a particle emitter. And it's pointing up. Let me give you a better view so you can see this. We want it to point back. So first thing we do is we go over here and go to the emission direction and select back there it goes now these are too big so let me change the size of my particles <clears throat> make that a 0 0.5 better I'm gonna make them glow so I'm gonna do there it looks good okay and then what else do I want to do oh okay right now they are lasting a really really long time so let me change that let me change the lifetime. Here it is. So right now they're lasting between, I think this is in seconds. So between five and 10 seconds, I want it to be shorter. So let's make them last between one and two seconds. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. The only thing is you can see some of these particles are actually starting over here and I want them to start on this area. And one way to fix that is to go to shape style and change that to surface. I'm not sure if that's actually what that's for, but that seems to do that seems to always fix it. Okay, and that looks good. Let's uh, let's test it. See what this looks like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looks better. All right, and let me change my camera view so you can see what this looks like. Yeah, it changes the camera automatically, but uh, this looks good, or at least it looks better than it did. Okay, so that was how to add an engine to the raft or boat. And basically it's just, you know, adding different parts and taking advantage of some of the tools that we've learned to use so far in this course. Uh, and that's it for this video.